What's going on, everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, and welcome to my guide for Atelier Riser 3. In this video, we are going to be going over the best and ultimate weapon for Federica. This includes traits, super traits, reinforcements, and of course, which weapon to use. So, let's jump into it, shall we? First of all, we are going to be using the Shrine Maiden's Dance Weapon, mainly due to the fact of the final ability, Ritual of Invocation of the Gods. This extends the duration of applied buffs, and it magnifies the effect of status increases. This is actually broken as heck, okay? It is ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously over the top. You can easily buff your stats by more than double with this effect, okay? So, let's jump into how to actually do it, shall we? First of all, we are going to drop a Grand Organ on in here. Ideally, this will also have your traits on. We will be using Lone Wolf Spirit, Mana Heat, and Super Cooling. This way, we have extra AP generation from the Lone Wolf Spirit, and we'll also have a ton of extra elemental fire and ice damage, along with being able to inflict burn and frostbite as well. Not only that, her stats are already incredibly high from accessories and armor, so we don't need accessory, uh, we don't need stat increasing traits here. Likewise, I'm not going to manually control her, so we don't need to increase her skill damage either. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop a Grand Organ on in there, a single Millennial Tree. Now, if you haven't been able to get this from any mobs, you can buy it from Romy using gold coins. Once we have the Millennial Tree in there, we are going to link more feet. So press L3 while highlighting the tree and then go to Core Ingredients Effects and Filter by Critical Rate Up. This is just going to ensure that we always do a bunch of critical hits because we can massively increase our critical rate by up to an extra 20%. Now, with all of this, okay, we don't actually need to do all that much more. We can easily do the rest with item rebuilding. What we are going to do, though, is we're just going to drop an ingot in there simply due to the fact we can, and it also opens up the next jewel slot. Now, though, however... We are going to go ahead and dump all of our ingots in. The reason for this is just to increase the stats of the weapon. Now, as you can see, HP, attack, defense, and speed. We're going to increase that even further using a secret key. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to filter the effects. And you can either use quantity up if you want to dump more ingots into it for a more all-round approach. Or you can increase the stats themselves with HP increase XXL, which will give you an extra 100% HP. Uh, sorry, 100 HP. Or you can use attack, defense, or speed increase XXLs. Each of these will increase the respective stats by 50 we are going to use attack increase XXL here. Also, I am using a super rare feather key. That also means that I gain a little bit of extra speed and a bit of extra HP as well from the recipe level condition. So we're going to go ahead and drop that in there too. Okay, so now that we've used the secret key, it's now time to just finish off the synthesis with all of our ingots. Now, I've left one there for a main reason, okay? As you can see, we've got a lot of things left to unlock. The weapon is already at level 46, though. So this is actually going to be a little bit limiting when it comes to item rebuilding. So what I'm going to do here in this jewel section, we are just going to drop a Philosopher's Stone with all four elements on it and effect spread four. This is going to basically master pretty much all of the abilities on there. This way we can easily finish it off with item rebuild. Now for traits, as I said, we are going to use Lone Wolf Spirit, Mana Heat, and Super Cooling. Don't worry about the super trait, we will add that momentarily. So with that finished, we are now going to go to item rebuild, and we are going to rebuild the item. We're simply going to go through and make sure we get all of the effects learned. So I need another one right there which we can just drop a Philosopher's Stone in. We need another ingot up here just to fully maximize the extra attack gain there. And we need a Philosopher's Stone here just to get the final abilities there. Okay, so we have all of the abilities now. 
So what we're going to do is we are going to go to the dual category and this is where we're going to add our super trait. Now the super trait you use will depend on your playstyle. If you are going to manually control Frederica, use ultra skill. The reason for this is ultra skill will give you an extra 50% damage on your skills. Berserker Spirit will lower your health by 100, but it will give you around 130 extra attack. Or you can use Ruxasha, above and beyond the best one. Unfortunately, I can't use that because I don't have a dual with it. And obviously, you can only transfer super traits from original items, not synthesized ones. But Ruxasha basically greatly increases damage, but decreases your resistance. And when I say greatly increases damage, I mean it is night and day when it comes to the difference what we're going to do though is i am going to use berserker spirit simply due to the fact that is the only one i actually have on hand right now unfortunately super trait farming can be rather annoying and i've already used all of my good ones i'm afraid making other weapons armors and accessories so we're going to go ahead and just complete that rebuild process right now. Again, just choose the traits, the low mole space, mana heat, and super cooling. And then it's time for the super trait. Look at the HP and the attack. We're at 160 HP and 239 attack. Berserker Spirit will massively increase our attack. As you can see there, it's giving us about 125 in exchange for 100 health. Now, here's the thing, okay? We don't need the extra health. Everything dies almost instantly anyway. Nothing's ever going to attack us. So losing a little bit of health there doesn't matter. And with the armor she has equipped, she's never really going to take any damage. So it doesn't really matter too much. So we're going to complete that rebuild. And now it is time to finish it off with some item reinforcement. So what we're going to do is we are going to select the weapon that we just did. And then we're going to filter by effect granted. Now... When it comes to the effects, you can actually use basically whatever you want. You can use Heaven's Blessing to increase your elemental damage, since we do have, uh, you know, fire and ice damage uh, from the normal attacks. You can use War Song for critical hits. Um, you could use Presto, which we are going to use. Presto is extra magic damage, and the damage increases based on the amount of AP we have. We will have tons and tons of AP. We'll pretty much always be capped, so it's actually quite a large increase. And we'll also be using Warsong Exile from War Powder, simply due to the fact that increases our critical rate. And then we are going to remove the effects because we already have four effects now. There are two on the weapon and we've just added two. So now it is time to actually just modify the stats. We cannot add any more effects. So this one you can either go with HP, attack, defense, or speed. This just comes down to your individual play style. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a dragon egg because it's a more all-round increase in terms of stats. Simply due to the fact, you know, we're only losing like 10 attack, but we do gain stats in basically everything using a dragon egg. So we're going to use that. And then once again, we just have to choose the traits one last time, which is low mole spirit, mana heat, and super cooling. So the final result for us is 70 HP, 417 attack, 67 defense, and 193 speed. Ideally, though, you would be using Rexasha instead of Berserker's Spirit but it is what it is so we're going to go ahead and accept that and finish off the reinforcements and voila we have the weapon made and that guys is how to create the ultimate overpowered weapon for federica that is going to be it for this video everybody though i hope you've enjoyed it and i really hope it has helped if it has then please be sure to smash that like button and of course drop a comment down below let me know the first thing you are going to whack with this fan and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more guides for atelier riser free as always though everybody thank you for watching and i'll see you soon